Good afternoon. I am Christy from the Department of Linguistics and Modern Language Studies. Today I will talk about how to bridge the gap between classroom learning and real world practice, an interactive approach to teaching and learning. In particular, I will focus, uh, I will focus, my focus is on teaching translation. So I joined the university about three years ago, that is in December 2013. And I developed two translation courses, including Introduction to Translation, which was first offered uh, in the second semester of 13-14 academic year, and another translation course, Constructive Analysis of Languages and Translation. So I would like to talk about how to teach translation because the subject is relatively new to edu students here. Therefore, I need to use a wide range of teaching strategies to uh, increase student motivation, to um, help them learn the subject better. And this sharing, sorry, this sharing section, I will first talk about the importance of using an interactive approach in teaching the subject in order to foster um, a friendly learning environment inside and outside the classroom. And then I will also discuss some ways to help students to bridge the gap between classroom knowledge and real world practice. After that, um, I will explore some useful strategies to teach a class of students of different backgrounds. Uh, because uh, translation courses um, are offered here as free electives. It means the classes are often composed of students from different majors coming from all the three faculties. I would like to use uh, this course, Introduction to Translation, as an example to illustrate my points. So the objectives of this course is to help students develop an understanding of the basic concepts, strategies, methods involved in translation process, and how students to apply these concepts, strategies, and methods to translation assignments and practice. All right, so here are the methods that uh, translation methods that students have to learn, including transliteration, yam yik fat, word for word translation, zok zi yik, literal translation, zik yik, free translation, yi yik, adaptation, gai sa. And these commonly used translation strategies include foreignization, yi fa, domestication, gai fa, omission, gam yik fa, conversion, chi lui jun yi fa, inversion, chi zui tiu jing fa, Division, fun yik fa, the change of the voices, yu tai jun wun fa, repetition, chong yik fa, amplification, zhen yik fa, negation, zing su fan yik fa, fan su zing yik fa, translation shift, fan yik yi wai fa. So you can imagine that it is very boring if I just this, this concepts, for example, by giving the definitions and use the examples in textbook. Therefore, I decide to use examples in daily life to drive student attention. So here are some examples. 好了,大家去吃火鍋的時候會見到這些任食的點餸的紙。這裡有一個source source test, the source test, yip. And the translation, the target test, Albert Yip. So the translation method adopted by the translators, Yum Yip, transliteration. All right, another example here. Source test, 日式燒銀雪魚, 98元一份的. The translation, the target test, the date type burns the silver slow fish. So you can see this is an example of word for word translation, 逐字譯. So 日就是date, 色就是type, 燒就是burn, 銀就是silver, 雪就是slow, fish. But the problem is that silver slow fish is not a name that appears on menus in English, and it is also not a name that people use in English for the name for this fish. All right. And then here, another example,我們有時會見到這些紙紙牌,我們看到原文就是油漆味乾,味這個字是用反面的意思說,例如味音、沒有沒有那些,都是從一個反方向的意思說, 一個行為上你怎樣做的,但我們見到英文這個日文呢,其實就沒有那個 
未呢一個嘅 negative 嘅 connotation 喺度，所以呢個翻譯方法叫做係反説正譯法，用反。一個相反嘅意味嘅方法去講，但係譯出嚟咧就變咗一個正面嘅意思，所以呢個叫做反説正譯法 （negation）。OK， as I have mentioned before, I would like to use an interactive approach to teach translation. Right, so I invite the students to send in interesting examples, and then I discuss those examples with them in the classroom. And Because today's young people like sharing, and students actively participate in this activity, so I would like to show you some examples here. So this is an email I received from a student. So you can see, this, dear Christy, I have attached this funny picture about translation. That is, the translator used transliteration to do the the work that I got from my translation WhatsApp group to this email for you. The source has seven years later. 翻譯出嚟就會變咗做史提芬、耶爾斯、萊特。咁好明顯呢個就係一個音啦。Seven 史提芬 ，years 耶爾斯 ，later 萊特就係一個音譯法嚟，都係處理嘅。咁好啦，呢度 a student, okay, an other student sent this picture to me when he visited Taiwan. 個同學就話啊，台灣咧依個新譯法啦，呢、这個咖啡咧越又會叫做拿鐵啦，但係咧亦叫做拿提咁樣樣。And then another example when a student okay visiting Korea, 咁 so the student comment, the Chinese is really funny. 我哋睇呢個中文點解會咁 funny 咯？請盡量享受作為饅頭和熱咖啡咁樣樣，其實唔係好知道嗰個意思啫。係乜嘢嘢嚟嘅？咁佢就覺得、啊、中文咧有好多嘅，但係咧亦都好得意、好有趣嘅咁樣樣。呢度有 another example. The source text can 當電影 and the translation hit movie. However, the, que- the student question whether hit should be translated as 強當。So we have this source text, okay, and the translation 羅馬不是一天造成的。The same source has here, but another version. 冰封三冰凍三尺，飛一日之寒。And the student explained, 羅馬不是一天造成的 is an example of urbanization. 冰凍三冰凍三尺，飛飛一日之寒 is an example of domestication. So the, these two versions are acceptable. It depends on whether the translator wants to use a source test oriented approach or a target test oriented approach. 最後一個有個例子就喺呢度咧，有個港鐵嘅路線圖係用。一個比較直譯嘅方法去譯嘅。So we are here in Taipei, right? It becomes Great Port Market. 上水就會變咗做 Upper Water. The student comment: Interesting and meaningful. Literal translation is better than transliteration. For 彩虹 rainbow is better than 彩虹 Okay. In addition to using、uh, examples in daily life, I also use this strategy, that is storytelling, to motivate students to learn, especially translation theories, because tr- learning theory is quite boring. Okay, and then I tell a story or at least introduce one translator every week. So for introduction to translation, I introduce these translators. 咁咧，我就介紹咗呢啲嘅。譯者俾同學識啦，包括有傅雷啦、魯迅啊、嚴復啊、楊獻益啊、趙元任譯、愛麗絲夢遊仙境啦、楊鋼同埋佢妹妹楊碧啦、余光中、施果、黃國斌、夏世安同埋張愛玲。張愛玲就譯《老人與海》咁。誒、uh, ，storytelling story is quite useful, especially in delivering message or information related to theories or some very complicated concepts. And As I mentioned, I would like to do it inter,、uh, to use an interactive approach to teach translation. Right? I invite students to share the stories they heard. So you can see here is that students send this photo to me, this picture, after reading a news report about the death of Professor Chang in、uh, July 2014. He was an interpreter quite famous for Britain during the talks in the 1980s. The students said that it was a piece of sad news. And I also developed、uh, an online teaching platform to de- enhance students' professional development and knowledge exchange in translation. You can see here is my teaching platform. This is the the page. This platform contains four sections, including news, e-library, showroom, and tryout. So I share current news related to the field of translation and interpreting with students. This is one of the 
news 嚟嘅，就係講話我哋成日會見到一啲文章會寫進行一個乜乜的動作，其實唔係咁好嘅呢一個表達方法。咁呢一個文章嗰個作者就甚至話其實係一種語言嚟嘅。咁啊，呢度有好多關嘅新聞啦，同埋啲咧譯者嘅博客咧，就同學你可以去睇，可以分享啦。E-library, okay. In this section, list of recommended readings are stored. 喺 E-library 嗰度咧，我就會係將有唔同種類嘅文章就會放喺嗰度，同學就可以因應佢自己需要去睇。例如，我哋有陣時去睇啲小説創作小説人嘅人嘅譯名咧，其實好有意思嘅。例如李莫愁咁樣樣，其實佢係一個有自己獨特個性嘅一個人名，唔係一個立亂創作出嚟。例如像我之前的一個女子裏邊嘅男主人公叫夏咁樣樣，咁我哋應該用拼音譯咗佢個用夏。定係亦有心麻咧咁樣樣，但係個故事裏面個主人公佢亦都好有呢個係夏日嘅色彩，即係好好陽光男孩嘅咁樣樣。咁所以其實譯人名小説小説人名嘅時候咧，其實都係好困難嘅譯做英文。咁呢度有啲文章啦，如果有啲同學對於譯啲文化有關嘅詞咁嘅困難嘅，我可以睇呢啲文章啦。對翻譯理論有興趣可以睇呢啲文章，甚至對詩有興趣可以睇文章。咁我就會將唔同嘅文章。或者唔同嘅有關嘅誒、嗯、適合佢哋睇嘅文擺上去，因應佢哋自己喜好嚟到去睇嘅呢度。And then showroom, showroom so、uh, this section showcases、uh, translation examples. Students just have to click here to view the examples. 呢度有個例子啦，就係佛跳牆就譯咗做 God use VPN。咁當然係唔啱啦，呢、這個做法咁。但係咧，呢、這、一個有少少唔同嘅，因為上堂咧個 example 即我係會解釋嘅。但係喺 Mahara 呢度咧，我冇辦法去同佢哋解釋啊嘛，所以我會俾一個可以話係參考嘅譯文佢哋睇。咁你會見到咧呢度我就會有一個另外一個 OK 佛跳牆嘅英文係啲乜嘢嘢啦咁樣樣。咁呢個咧就係、是、用多一個方法嚟到同佢哋溝通嘅。Okay, mention emphasize again and again that I, I would like to teach the subject in an interactive way. So I encourage students to keep sending translation to me even even the course is finished. Okay. So I received this email from the students. Uh, dear Dr. Leo, I would like to take this opportunity to share with you the uh, to make the Mahara showroom more interesting. So the source test, I can know the Yunman Hai Dola Zai. 警,警察電腦更新係打錯字下呢、這個呢度系統，佢打係絕，停止使用。報案需要更多時間。So this is the, tra the translation. However, the students want to want to improve the translation. Okay, and give me the suggested version here. And then another example, 有啲搞笑嘅嘅情況啦。個英文名叫 Judy Fan 嘅話，中文我哋係咪叫佢做早啲翻咧？可以 Andy Fan 嘅話，佢可能會個中文咪咪叫 Andy Fan 咧咁樣樣。咁呢度咧，佢就話哦 ，the translation method, transliteration 用咗音譯法。咁其實係好嘅，因為同學佢俾呢啲例子我嘅時候咧，佢會解釋同埋話俾我聽佢用咗啲咩譯法，而我可以知道佢哋有冇理解錯啦。咁第二就係、是，如果佢覺得做得唔啱嘅時候咧，佢哋甚至會有一個建議嘅。咁呢一個係可以俾我知道，其實個別同學佢會唔會對於某一啲嘅概念唔清楚。咁呢啲我就會發覺啊，好開心佢哋會分得清楚啦。咁 ，and then the last section， OK， the try out， I select some source tests and upload the source test together with the translation onto the Mahara platform。Uh, students taking the two translation courses are required to translate some parts of the text, and I encourage them to continue to translate the rest of the article. 咁你會見到呢度咧有一個系列嘅啦，咁我就會揀一啲咧係原文適合呢。呢、这個同學即係呢兩科同學程度去譯嘅，跟住揀一啲好啲嘅譯文，因為其實同一篇原文咧，如果佢係出名嘅話咧，會有好幾個譯文嘅，咁我就會揀啲比較好啲嘅嚟到俾佢哋參考。咁例如佢哋會可以譯啲咩咧？可以譯 Alice 啦，呢、这個就係自然音譯啦。呢、这個 o l Man and the Sea 頭先都講過啦，係啊，誒、嗯、張愛玲譯嘅。咁有我們三啦，魯迅嘅《孔月記》一約啊，《狂人日記》啊，咁樣樣。呢度有一系列嘅，佢哋自己揀自己嘅有興趣嘅譯譯完咧，佢哋可以 send。email 俾我，我會幫佢哋改嘅，咁佢哋就可以係課學課後之後咧，都會可以做到呢一樣嘢啦。Now I would like to go to the second part talk,、uh, to talk about how to bridge the gap between classroom knowledge and real world practice. First, I invite guests. Speakers to come to the classroom to share、uh, their experience with my students. You can see this lady. This lady is actually、uh, a news an experienced. News translator from the cable TV. So she came to the classroom to provide students with a fuller picture of the work of translator in reality. She 
introduced the workplace here, the meeting, the desktop, and the environment. And then she explained how to do translation, how to do news translation. Uh, normally, a uh, news translator received, uh, received a news article from international news agencies such as Reuters. However, they do not, do not translate the whole text faithfully. They only select some parts to do the translation. So the, the speaker select this part, this part, this part, this part to, to translate. It means the translator, news translator, do not use faithful translation as a method to handle their tasks. Instead, they use adaptation. And then she discussed how to translate Prime Minister into Chinese. Prime Minister, we should call it what? Shoushan. Yes, it is. It's Shoushan. But we should call it Prime Minister. It should be Prime Minister. But we should call it Prime Minister. 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 哦，咁我其實咧，呢、这個譯者咧，佢就會介紹咗一啲點樣樣去譯啲人名啊，嚟到去幫同學。All right, and then I will also try to make good use of my connection to benefit students because I am the life member and membership secretary of the Hong Kong Translation Society, so I share this information、uh, with my students。好似呢度有啲講座都有啲好啱同學嘅，我都會介紹佢哋去。如果有興趣有時間，佢哋去聽。例如香港嘅外籍翻譯教師。去講有關香港嘅中英翻譯問題，或者係有啲啊拆解英語典型嘅錯誤咁樣樣，我覺得呢啲會有同學有興趣咧，我都會嚟到去話俾佢聽，介紹佢哋去。如果有時間嘅話，佢哋又想去嘅話，我會同佢哋一齊去咁樣樣咯。咁就呢、这個就係一啲額外嘅資訊，希望可以幫到佢哋嘅。And then my department o r g a n i z e translation competition、okay, to promote、uh, the subject. Early this year, my department, uh, LML, organized a Chinese English translation competition.、Uh, this competition was divided into two stages. So for this first stage, participants were required to translate this text from Chinese into English. 喺第一個階段嘅時候咧，誒、um, ，我哋有個翻譯比賽係全港性嘅，咁咧同學咧就會係可以譯咗呢一個，跟住咧就將佢譯文寄俾我哋，我咁我睇下係咁，要睇下呢一篇譯文係難唔難譯先。好啦，呢篇譯文其實係講阿魯迅先生嘅，咁啊遠在六十年前，一八八一年。浙江肇慶，一家姓周，狄家女誕生咗一個嬰孩，男嬰嘅誕生多唔多？四年前，一九三六年多唔多？咁睇落去好似我哋都啊好明白啦，我哋嘅母語係中文，但係其實係好難處理嘅。其中一個部分就係呢啲嘅破折號，因為中文嘅破折號同英文嘅 dash 係唔同一個用法嘅。第二，大家有冇留意得到第一段一二三四，差唔多四行，差唔多就嚟五行啦。佢都係得一個句號嘅啫。如果我要保留住呢度去到呢度英文都係得一個句號嘅話，其實係冇可能冇可能嘅。咁所以佢哋要用唔同嘅翻譯方法嚟到處理譯嘅。咁我哋就全港性嘅，咁同學咧就可以譯完之後咧就去將佢嘅譯文咧交俾我哋。咁我哋咧就會去選十大出嚟啦。So、um, the competition, the first stage attract a total of 179 participants from various、uh, local institutions, including the HUGC funded institution. Yes, Hong Kong UST. Okay, students participated, and the Hansen and the Hansen Management College, and top ten participants were selected to enter the final stage、um, on EDU campus on April 15 this year. So the ten participants. Uh, we're required to translate two texts, one literary and one practical, from Chinese into English within 90 minutes. 咁九十分鐘譯兩篇，咁即係其實得四十五分鐘譯一篇嘅時候咧，就要譯中文兩篇。誒呢個文學嘅就係呢度啦，就係黃良和老師嘅一篇講中秋嘅。另一個咧就係 practical 嘅，就係講十十三五規劃嘅呢一度。咁啊要喺個半鐘頭譯咧，其實都係有啲嘅挑戰性嘅。咁我哋睇下啦。So you see this top ten participants, okay? They have the computers and dictionaries with them. And I think、uh, this translation competitions can、uh, strengthen students' ability to better handle translation assignments, and it also provides students with opportunities to apply their translation knowledge to practice. However, I would like to here emphasize that the credits. 
the credits go to my uh, colleagues, that is uh, my department head, Professor uh, Jiang Hinda, Jackie, Dr. Jackie Lee, because they provided me with variable support. And my uh, colleague, Dr. Uh, Tang Kin Ning, actually, uh, she handled the whole process, the whole thing. And then Dr. Chang from LCS and Dr. Cynthia from the Hong Kong BU, they were the, one of, they, they were the judges. And collect, we collected some feedback from students. Um, Gogging, 向以外的其他的七大院校知道原来我们的 虽然他们不是Translation 美感方面都重要加在这方面要多加努力I'm happy that um, I have this opportunity to uh, share my uh, knowledge with my students using an interactive approach or using some ways that help them to learn the subject better. So, and I'm also very glad that I have this opportunity to share my experience with you all today. So that is uh, for my presentation. Thank you.